So we're gonna demonstrate a drizzle stitch. The first thing I did is I knotted the end of my thread and I pulled it through on the needle and then I took my needle off. So what we're going to do is I love using my little Yazzie pouch because it's easier if you have something to stick your needle into. And then you're gonna cast on by just taking your thread and flipping it over the needle. And you're gonna put on as many stitches as you want the drizzle stitch to be long. We're gonna do six, three, four, five, six. And you don't want them to be too tight. You want them to be able to move sort of freely on your, on your needle because you're gonna end up pulling your thread through. So then I, this is one of my favorite little clover needle threaders. I stick it right back through the eye. Rethread my thread. And leave a little bit of slack. Pull it through the eye of the needle. Pull your thread through. Take it off your needle threader. And then just very carefully, you're going to hold on to your needle with the fabric and pull the needle through. And you're gonna have a little bit of slack. So you're gonna find the, the side of the, the loop of the thread that you can pull the tail all the way through. Just like that. And then you're gonna have your little drizzle stitch. Danny, you can get close. So once your drizzle stitch is finished, it looks like this. And to continue, if you're gonna make a bunch of them, your thread is still on your needle. So all you have to do is come right back up where you want your next drizzle stitch to be. So right there is where I'm pulling mine up. And now you're ready to take it off of the needle and stick your needle back in to start another drizzle stitch. Just like that.